Hello, this is Tu. I'm a PharmD candidate class of 2021. In this video, I will talk about the medications named Losarin. One of its trait name is Kozar. I will be going over some patients' counseling points, introduction about class and indications, mechanism of actions for the drugs, formulation, dosing and administrations, adverse event and drug interactions, some warnings and monitoring parameters. So let's begin with patient's counseling. Losarin is used to treat high blood pressure. It is also used to lower the risk of stroke in certain people with heart disease. And this medication is also used to slow long-term kidney damage in people with type 2 diabetes who also have high blood pressure. Losarin is usually dosing once a day. You can take this medication with or without food. Take a missed dose as soon as you think about it, and if it's close to the time for the next one, skip the missed dose. In general, Losarin is a very well-tolerated medication. However, there are still some side effects that patients may experience while they are on Losarin, including signs of common cold, dizziness, diarrhea, feeling tired or fatigue, back pain, or stuffy nose. If you get pregnant or plan on getting pregnant, Please contact your doctor immediately and stop taking this medication. There are some other side effects can be serious. If you experience any of these symptoms, please call your doctor immediately. They could be any sign of high potassium level like abnormal heartbeat, feeling weak or lightheaded, any signs of kidney problem like unable to pass urine or blood and urine. Losarin belongs to the class of angiotensin II receptor blocker as known as ARP. These drugs can be used alone or in combination with other medication to treat and manage hypertension. Losarin is also indicated for protein urechronic chronic kidney disease in diabetic patients, as well as patients with heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. Losarin works by interfering with the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. It binds to the specific AT1 angiotensin II receptor and exerts some biologic effects. The drug prevents angiotensin II from binding to its receptor. As a result, will blocks the vasoconstriction and aldosterone secreting effects of angiotensins, and eventually will decrease the blood pressure. Unlike the drugs from angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor, as known as ACE inhibitor, losarin does not affect response to bradykinin. Thus, it is less likely to be cause a non random angiotensin effects like dry cough or angioedema. This medication is available as tablets for oral administration containing either 25 mg, 50 mg, or 100 mg of losarin potassium. For most indications, losarin can be started off at 25 to 50 mg by mouth once a day. For treating or managing the hypertension, maximum dose is 100 mg a day in 1 to 2 divided doses. The maximum dose for treating proteinuric CKD patient and heart failure reduced ejection fraction is 100 mg by mouth once a day and 150 mg by mouth once a day respectively. There is no dosing adjustment required for patient with renal impairment. However, if patient has mild to moderate hepatic impairment, patient can be start off at 25 mg once a day for losarin. There is no specific in dosing adjustment in label for severe hepatic impairment patients. However, patients do advise to reduce the dose initially. Losarin is a well-tolerated medication in general, but there are a few things that we need to watch out for. Some adverse events of losarin are angioedema, hyperglycemia, hyperkalemia, increased level of triglyceride and urea, dyspepsia, dyspnea, and increase in serum creatinine. Patient is taking losarin with lithium concomitantly should be monitored for lithium toxicity. Losarin should be avoided with any angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor such as lisinopril and nalopril since it will increase risk of hypotension and angioedema. Patients should also be monitored closely when they're taking losarin with NSAID because NSAID tends to increase blood pressure and cause nephrotoxicity. One of the contraindications that needs to be evaluated prior to prescribing losarin is angioedema related to previous treatment with ARP. 
If patients experience any angioedema in the past with ACE inhibitor, they can receive ARP agents such as Losartan at least six weeks after ACE inhibitor is stopped. Another contraindication is avoid taking Losartan with ACE inhibitor or any other direct renin inhibitor. Some precautions that we need to be paying attention to while giving patient Losartan is patient has aortic mitral stenosis, bilateral renal artery stenosis, black patients, or patients who is pregnant. Monitoring patient who is on Losartan for efficacy and safety is very important. Some of the parameters including baseline and periodic blood pressure, renal functions, electrolyte lab values including serum potassium, especially in patients who is atrial fibrillation or heart failure.